Welcome back to Stone Magpie on this sunny day in the UK. Hopefully the shadows aren't affecting the viewing too much. Um, so we've now done level one and two of this diamond painting experiment. I hope you've been following my progress on my Stone Magpie Facebook page. If not, please find the description details in the description below. Also the video about layer one and two. Whew, that was quite testing, quite frustrating in places. We carried on, we called on our resilience and we got through it. I really don't expect the layers from now on to be that complicated. So this is now level three. As you can see, all of the trees and the sky are now gone. And level three concentrates on doing the peacock design in the background here. So, as I discovered, glue wasn't particularly brilliant. We're going back to the double-sided um, sheets. So, with this one, as I say, it's the peacock design in the background. So, I only need to cover those with these sheets. So, what I'm going to do is I'll cut that down. And then I'm going to cut across by putting it behind a bit like what we did in video one. OK, so with no further ado, I will sit. Oh. Now, I can't see my camera now because I, I needed it to be higher up. So I'm hoping that this is in view. And what I'm going to do, a bit like what we did on um, video one, we'll use the green, is draw the patterning that I'll need to cut out with my craft knife to follow this. So we don't need that. We don't need this bit. Or this bit. In fact, hmm, we'll cut that out and, uh, and we'll see. Because I'm thinking to save cutting around all those, we could just go and cut it across there. Anyway, I'll have a look at that. And then this side, we'll need it from here. So we can cut down, I'm going to cut from about here. Just having a little guess at this end. So I'll cut that out first. Don't have to be particularly careful with that one. That's there for another time. Let's see. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Pop it behind. Now the only reason that these are here is to provide structure for the following layers because they are quite delicate across there. I didn't want to get rid of them at this point um, in case we needed them for a, a bit of sturdiness. So. say exactly the same as video one where I'm just cutting around oops went off a little bit there but you know doesn't really matter and if you do end up cutting a bit too much off you can always patch in with the pieces that are left over so 
it's not a big deal if you cut a corner off and don't mean to. I think that's much better than applying the glue. The glue saga. As I say, I am um, up uploading sort of news as I go along with this project on my Facebook page, so do check that out. So put that aside as a scrap piece, make sure that's... And sometimes if these if these little scrappy bits show on the painting I will just nip them off um, but I tend to just leave it and have a have a see so, like this now with this I'm just making it a little bit bigger than the window because the pen nib is thicker so, oops I left the sticky bit on get rid of that Um, put this piece of paper close enough to me. My eyesight's so bad. I've probably cut that off a bit too short, but it's fine. Right. So on here, I'm just going to put right so that I remember what side. be interesting to know if you are contemplating doing a, a picture having a go um, so please leave a comment below um, I, I don't know if you can actually upload a picture on YouTube I'll have to work that one out because it'd be interesting to know if you are going to have a go what you're planning to do I'd love to know that right, I'm just going to stand up and make sure I am on camera okay so which way around? That way around. <laughs> Threw me for a little bit, that. Okay, so they are not quite lined up. Does it matter if I put that there? Mm -hmm. Don't know why that didn't line up very well. Not sure. Anyway, like I say, I'm not diamond painting this bit. I'm only diamond painting the bushes underneath. So I think I think that'll be okay. Right. Let's see. I'm going to 
going to move that one side. Whatever side I tend to peel off always seems to be the other. Leaving the stick on the backing like that. No, it needs to be the other way around. Let's try to gain in a different area. Has that done it? Ah, yes. So, if you saw my video about making your own chart, you'll know that when it comes to this bit, I tend to pull back a little bit rather than taking the whole sheet off at a time just to allow for a little bit of manipulation with it. Okay, so I'm going to fold that back. I'll stand up again. And what I'm going to do is try and match it to here and forget about those little window pieces. fix that later if that's not quite oh well that's worked better okay good yay and then I'm going to pull the flap behind and gently pull down and move along to apply the And it doesn't matter if we've got some on the girl because we'll be doing the girl on the next layer. Um, we've got, we might need a little bit of patching on here, but we'll see as we get there. So that's good. That's the first one. Right, we'll do the same this side. So we're going find in the end. Oh, before I do that, I didn't actually check the cutting out of this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm feeling so much better about this project now, so... Now we've got the... Um, tricky layers out of the way. I'll say that. I mm, hope I haven't spoken too soon. It's tricky enough getting this backing off. Come on now. Excuse my nails. Oh, do you know, I never said I was a nail model though, did I? Too much time crafting rather than going to the nail bar. <laughs> right, that's better. Oh, have I done that wrong? Oh, I have. Oh, pop it back down again. Try again, Suzanne. Come on now. it is this piece. It's refusing. I'll end up singing a song in a minute and you definitely don't want that. <laughs> right. Hurrah! Thank you. Saved from my singing. <laughs> so, pulling the flap down. I'm just going to move to this side, move my chair out of the way, and line up these edges. 
just a little bit. Okay, I do need to pull that down a bit. I can't see it very well. I'm almost on camera, yes. Good. Where am I going with this? Come on now. Okay. Hmm. What window is there? Let's try this. Okay, that's got it. Good. I think this one is just a bit off. I think I probably cut too much off these bits here. Um, but if there's not enough stick for that or that, then I can always apply some more with my scrap pieces. Again, get hold of the flap. Gently pull down and press. This is quite close to the edge as well. Mm. I think I might end up having to patch in there. That's a bit annoying. My own fault. Okay, so I think I need a strip down here. Just cut across here. again. Come on, we don't want me singing. Maybe I should invent a better way of releasing double-sided sticky tape. <laughs> if anybody's got a tip, that would be useful. Right, so got it. It's a bit of a mess that bit, so I'm just going to snip that bit off. Make it a nice flat edge. Okay, now what I've got to make sure is actually. I should have done it that way around to line up with. Let me just check. No. Mm, see, if I put that there, I'm going to get a gap here. But if I overlap it, it becomes a problem. So I'm going to have to be quite careful. Let's see if I can manipulate it down as we go. It's going to... No, oh, that's overlapping a bit. I'll try again. It doesn't matter so much if we have a crease here because we're not doing that on this level but we definitely want to get this bit here sure if I need to patch this bottom bit. Anyway, right, so I'm just pressing those down. Oh dear, just spilled all my spare diamonds, but there's not that many in there. It's fine, shake it off. Okay, so now we are ready to work on the peacock feathers. Hooray! Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello.
Okay, I've finished um, diamond painting level three, which is under here. I've kept this, the um, this sticky on to protect it because this bit's a bit sticky here and down on the waterfall. So I'm going to leave that on for now. Um, but I will show you once we've got it placed on top of level two. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to use these pads and start with the top frame to go on. Um, and I'm using these because they're a lot less sticky than this tape. So I'm going to turn it over. This is the back of level three. And I'm just going to put some of these in place. I'll pop it on there, keep that closed. Um, and I don't need to put loads on because what I'm going to do is once it's in place, um, I'm going to try and put a bit of this tape in the corners to give it a bit more sturdiness. So I'm going to put a bit in the middle here as well just to hold these bits. It doesn't matter if I won't be able to do those corner bits because the bottom bit will definitely get the tape on. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the top. It just means by using these pads that um, placement's not quite right then I can remove it and consider cutting it down again like I did with level two. Okay put these to the side. Right so I'll just move this away stuck to the, because I've got the sticky double tape on. I'll move level two here. And I'm going to very gently, I'm sorry if my head gets in the way here, just need to place it quite carefully into position. I think it might be there. Hmm. It looks right that side. No, it's not. Okay, just lift these up again. Just takes quite um, a bit of manipulation to get it into the right place. So here, that is looking right, but here not quite lining up. So if I put that down and then come round here, I'm just not sure why. See that's lined up there. this line here. I think that needs to be here. Okay, let's see if we can manipulate it a little bit. It's probably because we changed the trees. right there. Okay, so 
maybe I've just got a few like that one missing so this bit but I've obviously wiggled the trees quite a bit getting them on so I think that's right stick that there we can always raise it up a bit to give us a bit more it's just this bit seems to be quite level so I'm not going to tape this side in case I need to move it again and wiggle it a bit that side looks very good this looks right there isn't any double lines there is there um, that's sitting definitely right okay so what I'm going to do is the bottom bit to do with tape. So I'm just putting that underneath here. That's just to support this layer because I know I'm definitely not going to move this part now. Be careful with that layer because that's where the diamonds are placed on the peacock feathers. So, so I'm sorry if you're not getting a great view underneath. rather than in one fell swoop. So keep that lifted. Okay, last piece. And we can place it down onto there. Right, so that's that lifted. Do I need any more here? Do you know, I don't think I do. I think I've got a good lift there. Okay. So, that's layer three. We'll sort that out. So I'm going to show you. 
I will take my sticky bits off so you'll be able to see the picture so far. Okay, so I'll go top to bottom. All right. Okay. 3D effect is looking really good. I might even put another pad under there and lift that bit a bit more. you're seeing the 3D as well as I am. Okay. So the next layer is the lady, which will be good. So I'll put the protectors on again. That's just to stop any fluff getting onto the exposed sticky areas while I'm working on it. so far, whether you think it's worth the effort, I definitely do. Great, okay, I'll carry on with level four. Bye for now. Okay, so I've just been preparing layer four for doing the lady in the middle. Um, and you may think, oh, why have I left this without the double-sided sticky tape on? Well, that's because the next layer is going to be um, more detail brought out from the, the lady so I will be doing the scales on the next layer however I have had a thought that the background of the scales are the peacock feathers here which I didn't do on the previous layer because I knew that I'd have this covering it because these are so delicate um, I didn't want this layer just to have those so um, what I'm thinking, if I get my picture, it might be easier to see, is on this layer, I'm going to diamond paint the background of the scales so that when I bring out the detail of her arm here, those will be on the layer below. Otherwise, they might be too far up from the layer um, three. I hope that makes sense. If I did it on the layer above this one, it would be too high compared to layer three, where the other peacock feathers are. So I'm going to do it on layer four, and then on layer five, I'll be cutting out the hand and the scales and her up to her elbow. I'm hoping that that looks right when it's finished. So again, it's another little play. So this layer I'm doing the, the lady then the following layer I'm doing a bit more detail on the arms the sword um, the stones at her feet and I'm not sure about the waterfall I will probably do it in that layer as well um, to bring those forward but for this layer I am just doing the lady and the peacock feathers so I'm going to look at this chart because I don't need to diamond paint her hands. So I'm just going to draw around where I think I will need the diamonds putting down. So it's just to give me a little bit of an idea to help me. So, um, it looks like that's part of her hand there. And then it'll go across the scales and I'm having to make quite definite lines so that I can see it when I'm going on. 
Okay, so I'm going to diamond paint all of the peacock feathers. So I want this in. Hmm, now would that be diamond painted? I think so on this layer. And then what I'll have to do on the layer above this is do the same so that I know where they are needed to be cut out. Right, so I'm going to time and paint this on this layer and some of the below ones. So when I cut this out, they probably might not be joined here, which might make it a bit difficult. I'll have to look at that at the time. And if it's too fragile, I will add another diamond painting. I would maybe add that one into the top layer just to hold it all together at that point. Okay, so here she's got a bit of shadow under her arm, under her hand, sorry. Um, so I'm going to cut across here and leave that bit in. Okay, so I've got some here and some here. And again on the other side now. Try and work out. That definitely goes across there. This one is a little bit more um, less defined around here. So I think I'm just going to leave the light bits as the hand and the darker bits as the background. So I'm going to go up and round. As much as I can leave of the delicate bit, I will. Hmm. See, I think I might have the same thing here with those little bits there not quite attaching. Right, her hand. Looks like it goes. Maybe start it from this point. It's quite tricky to work out the shadowing and the background here, so we'll go with that. We can see how we get on and see how delicate it is and if it's too delicate I'll just diamond paint it all on the next layer and hope that the um, effect of the peacock feathers doesn't look too strange having so much brought forward. I'm in two minds about it. I'm thinking is it worth the effort or do I just do it on the next layer? I'll see how I feel after I've done the girl. Okay. Right. So, I'll get back onto diamond painting the girl here. Yeah. So, the down. It's actually a relief when I get to the diamond painter, to be honest. So, mm -mm -mm. What I've done on the girl, by the way, I've cut it into three chunks and I've learned that um, I can actually do that. It's a lot easier to place it rather than all in one go. Um, and I have contemplated as well whether to trim these 
so that each layer is slightly underneath the next so that the lining up doesn't become such a factor. So there's quite a few things that I'm still experimenting with. Okay, I'll continue diamond painting. Bye bye for now. Hello. Right, here we go. We've got another layer to pop on. Um, since I last videoed, um, what I've done, what I've realised is that each layer doesn't need all the little bit, bit, bits across. So what I've done, I've cut round this to enable it to sit um, smoother. So the next layer, I've also done the same. I've already popped my pads on um, because you've seen how I've done that before. So, as I say, the top is rounded and we've now got the lady. Oh, the pads have come off. Sticky. Um, so I'm just going to gently pop it into place and hopefully we'll have some play on the lady. Okay, so just gently pat that down. It's definitely easier not having all of the little spiky bits going on. So that was good. Right, I'm just going to... I mean, she looks like she's pretty much in the right area anyway. Okay, so... Let me see her, okay. I did consider whether to chop these off as well, but actually they're lined up pretty well. And what I've done, if you're wondering why I haven't diamond painted her face and the sword, is because I've done these as the next little bits. Um, because when you think of your face, it isn't flat. <laughs> well, shouldn't be. Um, and her forearms are holding the scales. So I did consider whether to do the background in the scales on this layer. However, that would have meant that these were very, very thin. So I decided to keep them onto this layer and I don't think that actually looks too bad. It's quite an optical illusion. Um, so I'm going to quickly pop some pads on the back of this. Um, and the pads I'm using are just these bigger flat ones because I want to be able to manipulate this into position as well so I can't have it too sticky. So I'll just quickly pop those on as a bit of support. Um, so what I'll do Get my scissors because this one is quite chunky. I'm just going to cut it in half, pop one here, and one here, and then I think we'll need a bit of support up here, so I'll do the same. Just grab a pad. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not using my glue dots, and that's because I just want to make sure it's very steady. Um, and what I've found with the glue dots is that sometimes they can um, flatten depending on the heat. This Now I'm in the conservatory filming, um, the heat tends to change the glue a little bit. So um, And I'm filming in here at the moment so that I don't have to keep moving this picture backwards and forwards because in my little craft room I have to... Um, keep putting this away. There isn't enough space to leave it out and have my working desk. So she's staying here at the moment. So I feel like I've really taken a step forward since video one. This has gone very, very smoothly. So I'm really pleased. Now I realise that it's not really a tutorial as such. It's still an experiment. Um, so I will probably do another video with a simpler design as a tutorial. Right, I'm going to pop her face in place. Just 
lining that up. Making sure that um, I'm trying to see overhead. Make sure they're lined up okay. The great thing about these pads is that you can pull them off and reposition. Whereas the tape is the sticky bit that um, can sometimes create an issue. Okay, this one's turned over because it's so delicate at that top here. It's quite delicate, so. Just lining it up. And here. Great. So I hope you can see that she is more 3D now, having the separate face and the hair behind. I have seen that there are a few diamonds here missing, so I will correct that. Um, I don't think that looks too wiggly. It seems to be holding its shape okay. And also we have the sword and the rooks down here. And again, I'm just going to pop some pads on the back and pop it into place. So it's really coming along. I'm um, on board again with it. <laughs> Actually enjoying doing the project um, and seeing the results that I'm getting, which is good. of thin ones, one here, one here, and that should be enough support for the sword. So, take the backing off. So after I've applied the sword and the rocks here at the bottom, we've got that will be level four completed, so we'll be on to level five, which is just the waterfalls. So that'll be quite quick to complete. Oh, oh yes, I do need to do the background of the trees above, as well as the waterfalls on that layer. I mustn't forget that, um, because we want those showing through the final layer. <gasps> final layer? Gently down into position. That's about right. Gently pop it down, and there we have the rocks and the sword in front. Yep. I'm really pleased with that now. So I'll try and gently lift it up and see if you can get a nice idea of the layers. Lift it up a little bit. Can you see that? The effect here. see that okay because it's it's really clear here but it's whether it comes out the same I don't want to twist it too much because of the precarious trees at the top I really don't want to have to go back in and do anything with those so fabulous right so I'm going to carry on now with layer five the waterfalls and these details behind the trees here so I'll see you once that's done thank you 